Hi, my name is Kay Yasugi and I am a puppeteer and primary school teacher from Sydney, Australia. And I am here because a year ago I met Peggy Rock, who is the kindergarten teacher here at Greenwood in Mill Valley. And we were together at the Puppets in Prague School in the Czech Republic, that's where we met, where we both did a marionette carving course where we were car wood carving string puppets. And through that two or three week course, I got really interested in Waldorf education. And a year later, here I am. And I thought, well, I have to contact Peggy. And so I emailed her and said, I'm coming to the States. I really want to visit you and to learn a little bit more about Waldorf education, because I have mainly a mainstream public education background in Australia. Uh, we started brainstorming what kinds of ways that I could uh, be a part of this school community and to sort of contribute something. And she mentioned that there is the Memorial Day Parade, which is a parade that brings together all these different schools and people in the community. And they have a parade through the whole town in Mill Valley. And Greenwood participates in that every year. And they have a float. And so I thought, well, how about we have some puppets in that float as well? So one of the wonderful things about being part of this project has been to meet different people in the Greenwood community. For example, just a couple of days ago, I was in a leaf making workshop and we used the grade five room and it was in the afternoon and we were just chatting and making leaves and branches and vines and it was really interesting to hear people's individual stories of how they got interested in Waldorf education as an alternative way for children to be educated. And one thing that I really love about Waldorf education is it's so creative and it really encourages imagination and creativity as a way for people to learn and develop confidence and the parents have all been really lovely and it's been really wonderful to be part of this project and to meet them and to work together to create something out of pretty much nothing into something that's really spectacular. So in terms of how the children were involved in this project, we had a variety of different things for them to do one of which was making owls. And these owls, I saw a design on the internet for a paper lantern that was covered in tissue and I thought it was so beautiful and it could look like an owl if it just had two lanterns on top of each other. And so what we did is we had a smaller lantern that the children, especially the younger children, found this simple and easy to do, which is to cover a whole lantern in a solid color. And then the lower lantern, which is bigger, which is for the feathers, would have a layering effect of one color of circle tissue paper and then a contrasting color. And the children would be just shown basically how to do it. And it was all very, very simple. And it was great just to be able to show them these things to do and then just let them go and another thing that we did was making leaves and branches and vines because we're working with wire I originally thought that might be something for the adults to do more than the children but it was great to see that the children also were very confident with the wire and and the leaf making and everybody got involved and what was especially wonderful was seeing parents with their small children on their laps making something together and seeing people who I, I heard had not come into the community before to make things like this and to be part of a community event. It was really great to hear that they had new families and new parents coming in to help. One of the main differences that I have seen uh, at the Waldorf School here compared to what I am used to in in my own education system is how this school sees the importance of the creative arts. It is so central to the way that children learn here and I think that is just fantastic that they are encouraged to learn through their imagination and through the arts rather than having the arts as something on the side they do and that's something that I will take away with me, definitely. Um, that has been fantastic to see.
So now we are one day before the parade. It's really exciting going outside and seeing the tree coming together and the leaves starting to go on, our bajillion leaves starting to go on and being wrapped around the branches. That's been very, very exciting to see. The owls are really coming together as well. Today, my job is to put them onto poles and, and rig them so that people can carry them down the streets and they'll flap their wings and they can turn their heads and look at people. We've got this idea that there'll be people with gloves to be the owl's feet and they can give scrolls to people and the scrolls will have information about the Greenwood School and also a nice little story that they can tell their, tell their children about owls and I think that's really exciting and I can't wait to see the parade. I think one of the best moments of the parade was when we've been told, right, okay, you got a maximum height that you can't exceed because of wires and stuff. But of course, there's trees that grow in the meantime. And there were some moments when we, we uh, yeah, the owls were a little, the, the trees were a little tough on the owls. And uh, there was a moment when we thought we were going to lose like one of the baby owls out of the nest. But, but no. it pulled through and everybody said, yay! It was, just, it was great. That was really fun. <laughs> <laughs>